Hello everyone, my name is Jay, and welcome back to Frostpunk. We're going to pick up where we left off in the last video there, uh, with our settlement here. Not very big yet, but I think we'll get there sooner or later. And uh, we'll kind of keep plugging along and see what else we find out in the frozen wasteland. Uh, let's go ahead and unpause this so that we can get going. Uh, let's see what's our... Wreckage depleted. Somebody died. Oh, crap. Oh, well, I guess I shouldn't have closed that. Oops. Oh, well, let's uh, unpause this. People inevitably die in this game. Uh, this guy has nobody working there. Let us change that. Let's see, we have... Okay, there we go. So it will... Let's see, why is it not working? No gather all resources in range. Is the thumper not working? Uh-oh. People keep dying. Well, it is 40 below, so I mean, that probably has something to do with it. Let's see, uh, 27 sick for Gravely, okay. I, knew, I know what I want next. I want to be able to get more scouts. We could set them out and scout stuff a lot faster that way. Uh, let's see. Hot house now. Resources. More scouts. There we go. Take eight hours. Crap, they won't start researching that until uh, the next day. Provide treatment for people. Uh, damn, we're low on food again. Alright, whatever. Oh, damn, that really screwed me. Oops. Uh, hmm. God, people keep dying. Lucy Brewster. How many of these freaking people? <sighs> this cold needs to piss off already. Let's see, they're almost to the coal mine. I want to get my hope way back up. Um, and get the discontent way down. Nobody's working here. That's good. Wait, so is this one... Oh, wait. Fuck. Put this... There we go. Oof, they reached the coal mine. Okay. The coal mine is automated. Its engine is pressured, but the mining has stopped. The snow around it is untrodden, and an eerie silence hangs in the air. Let's explore it. The coal mine was in operation until very recently. The machinery isn't running now, but there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it. Perhaps the mine simply extracted its quota or filled the loading bay. We could retrieve plenty of raw materials if we took the machinery apart. Ooh, we get two steam cores out of that, though. Uh, more coal than we could use. We won't be able to restart the mine anymore. Uh, this is a tough decision. Uh, as I know with the coal thumper, we can upgrade it and upgrade it, and it produces a literal shit ton of coal. We need the steel, too. Uh, let's take it apart. Well, then we'll send him to the gloomy cave. What's this crash site? Uh, we'll go to the cave and then we'll have him come back. Oh my god, people are getting sick like crazy. This is getting kind of ridiculous.
let's see, we'll plop that there. And we'll build another medical post. Right there, there we go. Oh, it needs a road, okay. There you go, you have a road. Stop complaining now. Oh, discontent went is going down a bit because it's getting warmer. There it goes. Go away, discontent. Yes. Look, little chunks of it are falling off. Oh, there's a big chunk falling off. All right. Three adults have died. Damn it. Uh, let's see. What can we do here? Book of Laws. Um... Emergency shift. I don't want to do that because it'll piss people off. Public house. Hope will rise. Uh, what does that lead to? Moonshine. House of pleasure. Uh, hmm. Let's build the public house. Oh, there we go. That made people happy. A public house shall be built. Yes, it will. Where is it? There it is. And that thing is huge. I'll put it right here where all the houses are at. Because you can't go wrong there. And then we need engineers working in our... Where the hell are my engineers at? I need engineers from somewhere. I don't know where they're at. Well, I've got one. Um, I've got to have some more somewhere. I don't know where the hell they went. Yeah, whatever. And we'll just turn this off for now. Because we can't really use it. We don't have enough people yet. Uh, why are there engineers working here? There, that should help a bit. But now we kind of screwed ourselves on the. Okay, we'll put them there. There we go. And we got one left over, so we'll throw them back right there. <clears throat> coal Thumper's producing a coal pile as soon as he gets back over there. Well, now we're down an engineer again. Damn it to hell. This is the tricky part in this game because people get sick and then it kind of bones you over. And you get into this spot where you're. A lot of people are sick, and you're kind of like, eh. Hunter's hut. We need to uh, get the better hunter's huts as well. It will. Well, for now, I mean, we'll just... Uh... Alright, we can make more scouts. Uh, let's see, let, what do we want next? Faster gathering, well. Heaters. Flying hunters. Oh, but that's not till the. What do I need for this? 75 and 25. Ouch. Upgrade it. We need it. We need more. We need better hunters. Let's take. Uh, some of you people off there and put them there. There we go. All right. Hope boost. Woohoo. <clears throat> Not a big one, but it helps. Uh, let's see. I think we should build another heating generator somewhere down here, too. 
just so we have it. Let's check the overlay. Yeah, we're gonna need it. Come on. Oh, wait, did it not build the street? No, it didn't. That's good. Let's upgrade some of these to bunkhouses. There we go. That'll make them warmer. More sick beds needed. Ugh, come on, seriously? I don't have the resources at the moment to do this. Where's my sawmill at? Oh, they're coming with a bunch of wood, so... wood for that yet. We can build another scout party, but we don't have enough wood for it. Hmm. <laughs> it's kind of hard because if I build another medical post over here, It'll be out of a warm zone. It won't do us much good. And I don't think I have enough engineers. I don't. Shoot. Do less harm. Sir, a doctor wants to talk to you about improving radical treatment. I was a field surgeon in the... Uh, in the Boer War? I'm guessing? I don't know. Boer War? Whatever. And worked with the Royal Society to reduce the rate of limb loss in army hospitals. I believe I could devise a method that will cut the number of amputations during radical treatment. I guess give him what he needs. I don't know what he needs. Hopefully he didn't take a bunch of stuff we needed. He kind of torqued off if he did. Oh, we don't have wood or steel. Great. Survivors! Oh boy! Gloomy cave. This cave is or was inhabited. There are a number of footprints leading to its entrance. We should check if there's still someone alive up there. Yes, let's check. Beset by beasts. Oh, God, there's polar bears. We can hear terrified shrieks coming from a cave uphill. When we come closer, several polar bears turn towards us, blocking the entrance. There are people trapped inside, and those beasts are picking them off one by one and feasting on them. Oh, God. So when the people come out to try and fight the polar bears off, they're getting eaten. Leave the bears alone. The bears will kill their survivors. Oh, that's, that's terrible. Why are you doing that? Uh, risk attacking the bears. People in the cave will live. Scouts will escort them to our city if they survive. Uh, hell yeah, attack the bears.
When our scouts attacked the bears, the people in the cave joined them, and together they drove the beasts away. Then they all set out towards our city. Four children, 18 engineers, thank God. 12 workers. Which means we're going to need some more houses. Let's get them back here as quick as we can. If I pass the thing, where's the thing for the infirmary? I'm just gonna have to do it. Care house, prosthetics. Available in the factory. We don't have the factory yet. Overcrowding. I don't know if we want to do that. We also don't have the food for that either, so I don't know. Hmm. We don't have the factory, so we can't really... Let's give the people moonshine. That'll make them happy, right? Ha! <laughs> Nothing wrong with a stiff drink from time to time. I've missed a good tipple. <laughs> Hope didn't necessarily go off, though, so I'm kind of disappointed in that, but... Uh-oh. Oh, our scouts have returned. All right. And they brought three steam cores, a buttload of coal, iron, wood, and survivors. Sweet. And now we have a full thing of coal. Five days worth of coal. Holy crap. Let's fill up our stuff here. With wonderful workers. And we need uh, probably three more houses. Oh, we never built a child shelter either. Or did we? I think we have one. Care house. Oh yeah, child shelter. No children in shelter. Why are there no children in the shelter? Oh, they're probably at home for the night. good. Oh yeah, let's get another scout party too. We will send them out to the crash site. And then when the other ones have found some stuff, we'll send them out too. So we'll have two scouting parties. I need tech tree. And we're going to get the flying hunters. Let's see, can I actually build a wall drill? No, I can't. Not yet, anyway. I have to move the sawmill over here at some point. Yeah, we've only got like 370 wood there left. Resources, steelworks, wall drill. There we go, that's what we need.
Uh, we should probably research the steel works too, because it'll allow us to extract steel from ore deposits nearby. Okay, let's see. Oh. Oh, good. Now they're not angry about there not being any health care. But now we have a food problem. We're just gonna have to make do for now. I don't know what to what to do. Oh, actually, let's build another uh, hunter's hut real quick, and we'll send out some people to gather up the food. What just happened? Fewer amputations. Sir, the doctor who is trying to prove in radical treatment is here. He is reporting a breakthrough. It's certainly an unorthodox method, and my learned colleagues would be appalled at the experiments I had to perform. But it works. I expect the number of amputations during radical treatment to be halved. He seems eager to get back to his everyday work and try his new method. I wonder whether to be appalled by that or happy by it. <laughs> Maybe a bit of both. Alright, now we can build the flying hunters. Oh, wait. Can we? Or did I screw up and not do the... Oh, I screwed up, damn it. Hunter's hangers. Uh, we're gonna need the freaking steel mill first. And the wall drill. Speed it up here. Scouts have arrived at the crash site. And something's happened. People are hungry. Yes, I know. I have. Come on. You'll have three days to feed everyone. Feed all the hungry. There's 12 people hungry. Uh, the hunter should be coming back here soon, so they should have food. Oh, these guys actually have raw food. All right, we might have to bring this back. Just because we desperately need food. Crash site. That's where our expedition was split up when our vehicles crashed during a snowstorm. Some of our precious supplies should be here. Fate of the Forgotten. There are plenty of priceless supplies in the wrecks of our expedition. Searching among the crates scattered at the snow behind the wrecks, we found the bodies. They're tangled together in a single frozen mass, as if these people were trying to find at least a bit of warmth just before they died. We can do nothing for them, not even bury them. Ooh. 47 food. Yeah, we're bringing that back. Okay, you need to return with that. You go to this observatory. It says it's a peculiar building. It must be the Arctic Observatory of the Royal Society. Built to investigate the eternal winter. There's smoke over it. Ooh, I wonder if there's survivors there. We will find out. In the meantime, this food thing will take care of itself here once my scouting party comes back. We have ten hungry. I mean, we fed two people. That's a good sign. But now we're out of food again. All oh, right, they brought food back. Woohoo! Oh, now 
then they're just gonna have to sit here and wait. I'm not so I'm not gonna go to this thing yet because it will trigger uh, an event. Winter home. I want to explore over here some and see what's over here first, and uh, try and get things a little better in in the town here before we do it. Because I have played through this before, and I know what happens when you go to Winter Home. So I don't want to quite do it just yet. Sometimes I wonder the purpose of our struggle. Get a move on, chaps. There's, oh, it's the daytime's coming. They're motivating each other. Get a move on. Start working. Temperature falls. Ah, oh, come on. Stupid weather. I hope I don't freeze to death. I think everybody hopes that. We have enough coal, we could probably build another coal uh, steam hub thing over here. How's the temperature looking in our houses? Ouch. Uh, let's build one over here, too. What's this? This is different. I've never seen this happen. A man from Winter Home. Oh, so if you don't go there, they'll actually come looking for you. We found an exhausted man at the edge of our city. He said that he came from Winter Home, a settlement located not far from here, and that he was the last survivor. Winter Home is dead. Everyone's dead. There's no hope for survival in this accursed wasteland. You're all doomed. You must escape. Those were his last words. So we're alone. The news has shocked everyone in the city. There were supposed to be many settlements and construction crews here. People living normal lives in homes heated by generators. But we're alone. Hope falls. This place is a deadly trap. We need to get out of here. We should have stayed in London. They're all dead? We should never have left Britain. Holy shit. Hope fell big time. And the people are pissed. Winter home has fallen. They're all dead. How will we survive here without any help? We have to go back to London. There's no hope for us here in this frozen desert. People start to gather as the news, news of the fate of winter home spreads through the city. Some of them want to drop everything and flee to London. Panic is starting to set in. We must give them purpose. So, I'm going to go with the good side of this uh, for this playthrough, since I'm trying to be good and nice and everything. Um, so we're going to go here with the faith and spiritual strength path. Um, and then when we play the, of course, bad one, we'll go with order and discipline. Uh, because the uh, order and discipline one kind of goes down a crazy authoritarian all sorts of terrible shit kind of path and faith and spiritual strength goes the opposite way but can turn fanatical um, if you go like extremely out of control with it um, we must choose a path people are shaking racked by fear and doubt they've lost hope in our chances of survival 
desperation could quickly push them to commit reckless acts. You have to unite them behind the vision of the future. Decide what will give them purpose and restore hope, or else our city will descend into chaos that consumed winter home. A new set of laws will become available. Faith. This is what we're going to select. Purpose. House of Prayer. Oh, it's a church. Okay. House of Prayer. We need a place to practice our faith in peace. Let's see. Must build the House of Prayer, of course. Oh, we have to build two of them. New Ability Sermon. House of Prayer. The Temple. Oh, there's another church building you can build. Yeah, the Temple. People living nearby will gather to pray, which will raise their hope. A short sermon will be delivered in places of worship. Hope will rise slightly. Base heating level 2. Oh, actually. Okay. Cookhouse helpers. Sir, a group of amputees is here to see you. They wanted to help in the cookhouse. We don't want to sit on our asses all day, content with just being kept alive. We can't do hard work anymore, but if we fashion some simple prostheses out of wood, we can help in the cookhouse and earn our keep. Give them what they need. Well, we have more than enough wood for this. We'll spend a hundred wood cookhouse fish on zero rise by forty percent. Hell yeah. So I can still send scouts to Winter Home even though somebody came here. So since we've already triggered the event, what the hell? Um takes two days to get there. Jeez. They're better be stuck there to salvage. One person died. Ah, oh, crap. Really? Francis Barnes. Froze to death. Oh, that's good. Why is this thing not operating? Storage limit reached. Oh, nice. Let's see. Can I build? I know I can. I just don't know what the heck it's under. We'll build one there, and there. There we go. Let's see, resources, uh, resource depot. There we go. Yeah, we'll build a couple of these just so we can start stockpiling stuff. No, oh, I don't have enough wood. Great. Oh, and they do need roads. Oh, that's fantastic. Let's see, can I cheat and just... There we go. The unconvinced want to leave. The Londoners. Oh, boy. Sir, you've convinced the majority, but hope is low. A group of our people are still so scared that they want to flee the city for London in 15 days. They've come to try to change your mind. You say that faith will save us. Nonsense. What are we going to pray for? Oh, well, what are we going to pray for? Food when, they're, when we start to starve, shouts one of them. If we don't try to reach London... We'll end up like Winter Home. Calm down, we're not gonna die. The Londoners. Your people are divided. Some of them are so scared they plan to leave the city for London in 15 days. They'll try to convince others to join them, preying on their discontent. Fear may lead people to desperate acts. Maintain peace, give people hope, and manage their discontent to guide the city safely through the looming social crisis. Many people may join the Londoners. Oh, so we got to convince them not to. 
Don't let the Londoners disrupt the city. Wall drill research. Oh boy. Yay. Now we can actually get some serious wood. Oh, we need 20 wood though. Shit. Um, I guess we just have to wait. There's not much I can do without wood. Scouts have reached the observatory. House of Prayer built. Take that, Londoners. Hope is going to go up. Houses of prayer have been erected, giving people a place to pray together and find comfort and faith. Hope rises. Ooh, that's a big jump. Ooh, and the tendency for this has gone down. Good. Cold homes. Captain, some of our people are concerned about the low temperature in their homes. They're quite sensi they quite sensibly point out that it's easy to fall ill when it's cold. Let's heat some of these houses. I thought I had these steam generator things. The hell? Can't be that freaking cold. Oh, it is. Uh, overdrive it, baby. Yeah, there we go. Now, these houses can still get cold, though. Shit. Well. Damn, when's the temperature supposed to go back up? Uh, let's get our coal... Wood and steel. There we go. Oh, yeah, and they've reached the observatory. Let's see what we got. Oh, there's survivors here. Something's amiss at the observatory. Snow covers the precious instruments, and the dome is open, letting out a thin column of smoke. Someone's inside. Let's explore it. Instead of astronomers, we are met by some of our lost people. They explained that they came here for help, but found everybody dead. The astronomers continued their observations until they starved. What was so important for them? They wrote it up in their diaries. The loss of sunlight can't be explained solely by the fouling of the atmosphere by the southern volcanoes. The sun is dimming. Ooh, that sounds bad. This is the plume of smoke. It looks like it's coming out of the side of the observatory. Escort them back to the city. I guess he didn't find anything else outside of this, so. Let's see, what do we want to research next? Uh, oh, yeah, Steelworks. Let's get these things going, and that way it makes us better off to become sufficient. We don't have to worry about scounging for uh, supplies. Eventually, they run out. The hungry were fed. Most of the hungry have had a meal and are somewhat satisfied for the time being. Hope rises. Ah, uh, just a little jump. That's alright, though. Oh, uh, uh, I was. Uh, no, we're gonna wait and do that here later. We will research the um, flying hunters. Because they gather more food. Damn, we have 21 amputees. 34 being treated, 22 sick. We might need another medical post. We don't have wood for another one. Okay. <clears throat> Let's 
see, we do have a bunch of engineers, though, so there we go. That should help ease the sick. 22 people have joined. Damn it. Stop joining the Londoners. Scouts have returned to the city. Oh, but they didn't bring any wood back. People join the Londoners. Certain people who want to leave for London have successfully urged their friends and neighbors to join them. People are more easily persuaded because they have little hope in our ultimate survival. What a shame. No faith in me, huh? I see how it is. Alright, we can build the steelworks now, too. Sweet. <clears throat> we need two more houses, though. Uh, so let's plop a couple more down. And then, uh... I think we have enough wood to research the flying hunters. No, we don't. Damn it. We're gonna have to wait a bit. That'd be a huge boost for food if we could get that researched. Generator stress level's critical. Turn off the overdrive. Oh yeah, it's been running and it's not getting warmer, so. Well, unless you people want the generator to blow up, I mean... Oh, great. <sighs> we can't even afford the steel for that, I mean... See, we need the uh, steel works. There we go. We're building this, and uh, What's the other thing I was going to build? Uh, oh yeah, the wall drill, but we don't have enough wood for it. The Rebirth of Faith. Sir, people have started to visit the House of Prayer. There aren't many of them yet, but it might be the start of something special. Oh yeah, we can uh, have a sermon too. There we go. Ah, oh, it affects all of them. It makes them all do it. Okay. Uh, once these guys get to winter home, I bet we'll find some resources. Wait, what the hell was that? Oh, it made it sound like something had happened. Dueling law. Discontent will be reduced permanently. Uh, let's go with the dueling law because it'll reduce discontent permanently. I don't think it just wipes it out, but it'll it'll give us a boost, and we need that right now. Actually, let's see what can we do for uh, purpose. Shrines. Evening prayers. Oh, let's do that. That won't... That won't, um... Oh, make anybody... 
There we go. Oh, I think somebody left the Londoners, too. That was at 22, and now it's down to 21. Well, how much often can I use this? Two days. Oh, man, and it took all our food to do that shit. What? Screw you people if you want to go to London. <laughs> Oh, the temperature's gonna drop again? Are you kidding me? This is gonna get really ugly really quick. Cold homes. I can't address this right now because you guys got pissed off the last time I did this. If it makes discontent go up, then well, there's nothing I can really do. I'm sorry. United by faith. Sir, we're holding an evening prayer this afternoon. Plenty of people are here. They're praying, but also talking and laughing. I haven't seen anything disheartening in our city in a long time. It's really brought the community together. Well, tell these 30 people that want to leave for London that. I want research, not... Thanks to him. Oh, we should probably get this. Um... Nah, food's more important right now. The good news is we don't have very many people sick, so... that apart. So now we got to build another sawmill. Oh yeah, it took a steam core to build that. We've just used our first steam core. Steam cores are a necessary component in advanced technology. We can't manufacture steam cores in the city. So let's hope that our scouts find them during their expeditions. That's kind of a cool looking thing too. We got four more, so I mean, I think we're good for now. Scouts have reached winter home, all right. Steam cores. Hey, how about that? They were just complaining about that. We climbed up to the edge of the city. We stood there speechless, staring at the scene of devastation. It's a city of the dead. Most of the buildings are destroyed, and the generator has exploded. To explore. Damn. The fall of winter home. The streets of the ruined city are littered with scores of dead bodies. The City Chronicle describes the sor shortage of food and citizens' increasing despair. The following squabbles, riots, and descent into anarchy. Fights for dwindling resources, 
and the eventual starvation. The last entry. God forgive us. We're eating our dead. There's no hope. Sites discovered. Freshwater Springs. American Camp. We got two steam cores out of there, as grisly as that is. Go to the American camp. Several big tents. No signs of life. A flag flies over them. The American flag. Even from this distance, we couldn't mistake the stars and stripes. Heh <laughs> damn right. We could see distant glimmers of sun reflected on the surface of water. Unfrozen water here points to the presence of freshwater springs. Go and check it out. Wait, what's this? An outpost can be set up here delivering an estimated 150 wood every day. Send an outpost team. Huh, okay. I think the more pressing problem now is we need food. More than we need um, wood. Because we're building the uh, wall drill right now, so. God damn, how many more people are going to join these people? This is really starting to annoy me. Stop joining the people. 12 days. Oh, we got more survivors. Some more people that will want to leave and go to London. Cool. Several pools are kept from freezing by a hot spring deep underground. Patches of hardy lichens cling to the bare rock at their edges. It looks like a good place for a hideout. Explore it. Freshwater springs. Dr Degenerated but not but alive. I'm guessing that's what it's, yeah. Near the freshwater springs, we meet some refugees from Winterhome. They are a sorry sight and seem to be completely unmoved by the fate of their city. Asked what kept them from starving, they look away, then mumble something about eating lichens. Aw, oh, they're cannibals. Aw. Wah, wah. They've been eating their dead. Just like the people in Winterhome probably were. Escort them back to the city. Yeah, bring them back. Where's this other one at? Oh, it's back down here. Ah, damn it. Snow cliff. Frozen grove. Okay. Damn Londoners, what a pain in my ass they are. How do we have a homeless person? Nobody should be homeless. Everybody has a home. Like, I don't know what's going on here. Two homeless? What the hell? Like, seriously? Flying hunters researched. Finally. Okay, yeah, we can totally do this. Hunter's hangar. We'll need more wood and steel. But I think we, yeah, we'll get more food out of that, so. How the hell is the storage limit reached again? Why don't you people... Oh, great. So now we... Are, we're not going to have enough coal to get through the, the freaking night.
Oh, look, a little, uh, the hunters are going out. But we're going to be SOL here in a little bit because the generator's going to go down because we don't have enough coal. Steel and steam cores. Oh, boy. There's not a living soul in the camp. We found about a dozen emaciated bodies. Surprisingly, most of them were amputees fitted with prostheses. The American camp was well supplied with everything except food. Search in the tents, we found more victims of hunger. Most of them have badly worn but sophisticated artificial limbs bearing a company symbol, Tesla Manufacturing. We can only bury them and take their equipment. Temporary settlement. I know there's no food either, so I mean... I'm doing really badly at this. Trouble with the Londoners writing on the wall. Captain, someone has defaced the walls with predictions of doom for our city. This is troubling. People already fear we'll share Winterhome's fate. And scared minds are swayed by even the smallest nudges. Yeah, I know, because we don't have any coal, because nobody decided to, you know, uh, get coal out of the thing over here. Get the damn coal. Like, seriously. Yeah, I know it's off. There, now it's not off. Quit complaining. You people need to get coal. Come on. Don't screw the town. Alright, we got more people here. Damn. Build another hunter's hangar. And, uh... Let's see, we need one, two, three. Uh, that's all we can. Ah, oh, we're out of steel. Shoot. Temporary settlement. The settlement seems to have been abandoned. It consists of several tidy wooden shacks that are now completely empty. An upright boulder stands at its center. Memory of Injustice. The center of the settlement is marked with an upright boulder. On its roughly planed face, someone chiseled the following. May God forgive the genius who sacrificed human lives in the name of progress. For we can't. Exiles of Tesla City. We won't touch the monument, but we decide to dismantle the huts for wood. Walled Colony and Fishing Village have been discovered. I think with that, we're going to uh, end it here and uh, call, it a, call it an episode for now. And we will return to this in the next one and uh, see if we can uh, do a lot better and get these, you know, Londoners to uh, piss off in 10 days, but I don't know. Uh, it's also going to get really cold, so it's probably going to make the problem worse. But we'll find out in the next video uh, if we fail or uh, if some of our people leave or what's going to happen. Uh, but as always, until then, have a great time 
and I'll see you all on the next one. So long for now.